Hey everyone, I am sitting down to plan out a week in my Erin Condren Life Planner and I'm going to be using kit, mini kit 617, which I think is called Every Little Thing. I did do a little bit of experimenting on this Monday and I don't have that video up yet, but it might be up as you're watching this video. I don't know about the timing yet, but I was starting to wonder if I could fit absolutely everything in this weekly planner, all my to-do lists, gratitude, journaling. There was no room for memory keeping. Um, so I did that on Monday. And I think the answer to that is no. I don't really like how um, congested this looks. So I did not continue that little experiment. I'm just gonna continue to use this for high level um, events. And I might do, you know, a little bit of memory keeping in here as this is the book that I'm going to archive here in July when we start the new Erin Condren Life Planners. Um, so back to the normal planning, I guess, that was short-lived, which is fine because this planner has been working for me for how I want it to work for years and years and years. Okay, let's cover up this because I absolutely love this sticker. And actually, I say that, but I want to take the washi all the way across and I want to use this washi because I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. So kind of change of plans right at the beginning. But we'll take that all the way across if I can put it down straight. It's a little better. Then we'll put this sticker down underneath that. Okay. Isn't that just so pretty? I thought this kit might be a little bit too bright and bold for my personal taste, but whenever I get my planner cake kits in in person, it never seems to fail that one of them sneaks up on me and is the one that I didn't like the most when I was ordering and then when I have it in hand becomes my favorite and this is one of those kits for sure. Okay I am going to put some date headers down underneath that washi and for some reason I am feeling these I usually use these in my traveler's notebook. So I don't know, we'll see how I feel about that once I have them down and then I don't, then I don't have them for my traveler's notebook. I'll have to think of something else because I'm just in the mood to use them in this specific planner. which I guess is the great thing um, about planner gate stickers is that you can use them in any planner you want to use them in. They're pretty versatile in my experience. Okay, we're gonna jump straight in to plans. Maybe I'm distracted by this, all these beautiful stickers. I think I want to use this one at the bottom of the page too. I don't usually do two strips of washi, but I must be feeling a little wild this evening. I've been struggling with a migraine for the past three days, actually. Today is day three and I am feeling 
better as we speak right now. Sometimes with my migraines, they come and go, meaning I think they're gone and then it's like surprise, and I'm back again. So hopefully the rest of my evening, especially sleep time, my migraines seem to be worse when I am trying to rest. So hopefully, fingers crossed, um, the evening goes smooth. Okay, now we can plan. So Monday, I do have a sorority meeting, and I think I'm going to just be over the top this week and use a lot of full boxes because the prints of this kit are just everything to me. And it kind of reminds me, I think it's called Natural Life. I've been wanting these mix and match sheets and they're really bright and fun and the patterns are mixed. So you have a different color, like fitted sheet, different color pillowcases. And some people, you know, that drives them nuts, but that's what this <laughs> kit reminds me of and kind of what I've been wanting to purchase for our master bedroom. Okay, I'll layer that with this half box. And I actually, I'm gonna make a little note. We need to go over our year end budget and do some voting on some donations. We're a philanthropic organization, meaning, you know, we give back to the community all the funds that we bring in. So we'll be doing that Monday night. It's kind of a bigger meeting for us in the year. And then on Tuesday, I do have my eye scan. My mom is going to go with me. We typically do that and pray for, you know, a good outcome with no new active bleeds. And then while we're there, because we do kind of have to travel a little bit, we'll go out to eat for dinner. And I just really appreciate her, one, being there for me because I have to get my eyes dilated and it's not the most comfortable situation for me to drive with um, after my meeting, after my appointment, but I also obviously enjoy her company. And then I'm really excited about this. Thursday is math night at my son's school and we're doing different decades. And my teacher partner and I chose the 90s and we're doing some logic puzzles for the kids. And I'm super excited about that. And that will be at Looks like I also have a nail appointment on Friday. I feel like I just got them done, but I'm trying to go every two weeks and stay on schedule. Since it's not that big of a deal, like these are bigger appointments, I'm just gonna use one of these um, smaller dash labels. Definitely a larger event for us. We have a concert to go to Sunday evening. 
And I imagine we'll get home pretty late, so I'm gonna put that all the way down towards the bottom here. I don't know what time it starts, so I'm just gonna put PM. And when I look back at our tickets, I'll put that down. And I think those are like all of the larger out of the norm appointments that we have. And now we can go on in to work meetings. And I think I will use these circle labels off of add-on 17. So Monday, I do have a nine o'clock and a 10 o'clock. All right, I'll get both of those down. These kind of fill perfectly those one hour time slots. Tuesday, I have an 11.45. Nothing on Wednesday. And then Thursday is just a day full of meetings, um, like back to back to back. So for that, I will use another full box. And we'll just put all day meetings because I don't really need to know the specifics of the meeting in this planner. I just need to plan around it for the day, if that makes sense. And then on Friday, we have all day problem solving meetings. So we'll go ahead and mark that as well. All right, now the fun begins because with all of this stuff, I also need to plan for my son's Taekwondo practices. And I want to use something minimal, so I'm going to go with these smaller dash labels. So we have a couple of options for the week. So hopefully between my husband and I, we can get him where he needs to be. It's kind of tricky sometimes as you parents out there probably can relate to when you have um, multiple things going on and trying to get everyone where they need to be. I think I saw a meme that said like we can either eat supper at 3.30 or 9 o'clock and sometimes that's exactly how I feel. I do not have a content plan per se. I have a couple of videos kind of done and just waiting to be scheduled like this 
can I fit everything in here video. Um, but I don't know exactly how I'm feeling about scheduling things and when. So I'm going to use these as placeholders up here. And once I decide, then I'll go back in and write things in. But I'm thinking that it will be a Monday, Thursday, Saturday situation. And again, these are removable. So if I push a Thursday video to Friday or whatever, I can definitely just pick these up and move them over. Okay, let's do the rest of this sidebar. Hopefully I got the sidebar add-on, but I don't always. So, oh, I did. Perfect. And we'll fill out this um, habit tracker. And I'm going to put that at the bottom just to cover up the rest of the tracker that's printed on this page. And I'm going to use one of these as a label to say to do. Actually, let's layer it with this one that says this week. Love that. I'm gonna leave that blank for now and then we can put in some cleaning checklist items. And I think I wanna use these if they'll line up correctly. I think that they do. If not, I have a couple of other options because it looks like I did get a lot of the sheets for this particular kit. So, as I'm looking at this, I will have to do my weekly reset somewhere, and with this concert being on Sunday, this is probably going to happen on Saturday. So we'll put that checklist in and get those tasks written in. And then I'll have to do like an early week cleaning just to keep everything so that it's not out of control. So Wednesday will probably be a good day to get that done. Actually, I'm going to put it closer to the evening slot. So after work sometime, I'll have to get on these before we go to practice. All right, so a couple of items there for a midweek clean. And then I do need to put in church stuff. So that would be Wednesday evening. And Sunday morning. I feel like this is Palm Sunday. I might have to look at that because if that's the case, um, our littles might be doing a little Palm Sunday song. All right, I think that that is a good overview of the week, at least to start with. Absolutely love all of the color on this kit. Um, a little bit different than this more monochrome look where it's all sort of the same black, green, yellow. And I think that's a fun little mix up there. Okay, thank you guys for joining me and I'll see you back next time. Bye.